Hey guys, my name's Crimson, but you can call me Crims. Welcome back to the channel, my friends, and welcome to Roblox. Once again, we are back playing another Roblox game for the first time, giving it a review. So, I found a game when I was scrolling that, at the minute I saw it, it stood out to me. This is a game called Restaurant Tycoon 2. Now, those who watch the streams know I love Tycoon games. First of all, Tycoon games are absolutely fantastic, one of my favorite things to do on Roblox. And for some reason, when I saw this game, I had to do it because it gave me major nostalgic vibes. It reminds me of a game I used to play. For all my Facebook OGs, there was a period in time when Facebook had immaculate games, okay? I'm not sure what the state is now, but there's a time, it was probably like 2011, they had such awesome games. This game has given me advice of a game called Cafe World, a game I used to spend so much time in. And oh my gosh, I did not regret any second of it. It was an absolute blast. The game was so fun. And you just had to be there during that time to realize how good of an era that was in Facebook and gaming. And um, this game just makes me think of it and I kind of want to play it. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but hopefully it is. We're going to give it a go. And we're going to give our honest opinion. All right, here we are. Restaurant Tycoon 2. My apron loaded in. Some game modes don't load in my apron. It offends me. I mean, I got the apron here. At least I'm using the apron there. The hat, I'm sorry. I couldn't find a copy of that, all right? Ooh, I already got a reward. See, this is something that the other game lacked. They're already giving us something for logging in. Create new restaurant. We're going to call this the Crims Cafe. Y'all already know what's happening here, all right? Oh, I can use my friends as managers? All right, congratulations, d Stu. Getting a shout out. There you are. I really like this one. This one looks very, very modern. I, I'm a big fan of modern stuff. Oh, wait, we can choose what we want to do. Okay, so there's American food, British food, scan it. Wow, there's a lot of variety here. Oh my gosh. Let's do American food. A table for two, please. Uh, sir, I haven't even opened the restaurant yet. Hold your horses. Or do I need to maybe hire some workers? Oh, so I need to hire a new chef. So I have a trainee chef. All right, y'all could sit right there. Let's see what they're going to order. Our first ever customers of the Crims Cafe. Let's go. So wait, let me take a look at how the bill thing works. Oh, you can buy more tables. You can see, I need to make the building a little bit bigger though. That's the only issue. Oh, hello there. How are you? Welcome to uh, my establishment. Hope you enjoy your stay, Mr. Jiffer. Oh my gosh, he's actually cooking. No way. He actually knows how to cook. We're going to call this guy Pete. This is the equivalent of server manager Pete. So did they just like disappear? I want to watch this happen. Yeah, they just straight up dip. They just Obi-Wan Kenobi that shit. Upgrades. Okay. So kick all customers. Expand it. Oh, so for $600, we can expand the business a little bit. Okay. Should I start charging more for my burgers? Can I charge more for my burgers? No, it's six, six dollars at the locked price. That's probably for the best because part of me wanted to make it like $30. You ever go to a restaurant and it's like really overpriced and it tastes and looks the exact same as something you get from like a lower tier restaurant? I was trying to be that higher tier restaurant. All right, this looks like a college professor, a university professor. See, no, they got some money on them. Goofy up. Is that Mr. Potato Head? Who are you? Day one complete. Oh, I'm getting rewards. Oh, they give you rewards for completing a day. Oh, nice. Oh, select two dishes to unlock. So I can get a drink. I can get a kid's meal, or I can do onion rings as well. So I can have a second option for food. I don't know if I would call onion rings a full meal. I feel like having a drink would be important. Though, if I do kid's meal, I'm opening up to kids coming in too. Oh wait, two dishes to unlock. Okay, kid's meal and drinks. We'll add the onion rings after. Wait, you just want the water. You're straight up coming for the water. You go to a restaurant just to order a water. And are we charging them for it? Because at restaurants, waters are always free. Five dollars! What is this, Disney World? And we now can collect our day three rewards. Let's take a look at what we can get. I'm a level five chef now! Look at that! We're really improving, actually. All right, so we now have orange juice. Oh, we can do cola, too. No, we're, we're good with orange juice. We're keeping it healthy, I say as I buy cheesecake. Let's go! Now we're starting to get more of the cafe theme. Oh, sorry. I was trying to serve it to the wrong person. That guy was seeing me there about to offer his cheesecake to someone else going, Excuse you? L look at him. That is the Ugly, face of a you're pissed disgusting. off disgusting. Right I'm gonna here. kill- Oh, I probably should have done tip jar. No, no. We'll upgrade this plot. Oh, that's all it did? Oh, I saved up for that little speck. 
Okay, I need to stop because if I keep playing this, I'm gonna end up playing this game for hours because I honestly think I could. So, here's my thoughts. I played a good 40 minutes, roughly, of this game. You know what? I love it. I actually genuinely enjoyed playing this game. It had everything the last game lacked. It had an in-game currency, it had things you could achieve on your own without Robux. You didn't need Robux to do this. Sure, that option's there if you want to, you know, progress a little bit faster than everyone else. But if you want a game you can sink hours into and have that rewarding feeling of doing it on your own without additional help spending your actual money this is a game you want to check out it was developed by ultra w and honestly it gave me cafe world vibes it did because you had to wait for your food you had to make sure you were on top of it or it would burn some games the food just straight up is made and you serve it this game you have the pressure of actually screwing up your food thankfully you can still serve if you burn things a tiny bit some restaurants probably actually do get away with stuff like that to this day i enjoyed it um i would definitely play it again it's one of those games I could see myself coming back to. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, if you guys haven't played already, I strongly suggest you do so. I will link it down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you see and you want more, click the like button down below and leave a subscription as well. I'd appreciate that so much, my friends. But at the end of the day, I'm very honored you decided to watch my channel and my video here and now. So with that said, have a fantastic rest of your night, possibly morning, possibly day. Wherever you may be in the world, this is Call Me Crims signing off. Stay cool, my friends, because I'll be keeping the coffee hot.